on the last video. Snake, have you ever seen for a fistful of dollars? And so it continues. I'm still in a dream, snake eater. Okay, well, um, hmm. I, uh, I don't see me getting down this, uh, very well, so I'm just gonna go back and, um, come, come back another round. Yeah. Hey, stuff. See, so you're here. It's, uh, wonderful. There's a spider. Uh, it's scary. And dealt with. I don't want him hurting. Me. Alright, cool. I guess I just gotta leave. Because there's nothing else to do. I also want to hop on under here. Because there's a lot of shit. Like this. And these. I don't need a damn thing of it. Super. Let's get out of here. Okay, so there was that one door that was down here. There are still people about. And I'll need to punch him as soon as I can. Okay. What was that? Hmm. Let me get over here. You're different. What? Hmm. Hold on. You. You have a flamethrower. Dude. You're wicked. Not like the, the musical, but you know what I mean. Shit. You can kick my ass. Don't do that. I'm gonna have to put you to sleep. And I can't. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Oh, hang on. Let me try this. Freeze. Hello. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, wait. This man might see me. Eh. Keep freezing, pal. Yo, homie. Answer me. The others? Yes. Speak. If you want to learn more, take a look at the survival view. I don't <laughs> like the people that you have in your head. Jesus. Nothing. Where is the person you've been asking that? Oh, this guy. Come on, baby. Uh oh. Oh, he saw him. No, he didn't. No, wait. What the hell? What did I do to you? What did I do to you? I make them dance. Weird. Huh. Well, um, I guess people are dancing now. That's different. I, I mean, back in my day, people used to just fall asleep. But now, now they just play that DDR so much, they just don't know when to stop. I'm just gonna do this. And hopefully not run into any more problems, because, yeah. I don't know what I could do with dancers. I'm nothing against dancers. It is. I feel intimidated. Oh shit. Hmm. All right. You know what? Time to pull out old best. That's not the name at all. Um. Here, here you go, snake. And that totally hit. That hit. What are you? <sighs> I don't even know. I don't even know. I totally hit him. I just wanted to be a super secret spy agent, man. Ah, uh, there they are too. God, they just bring the flamethrower people and everything, huh? Mm, 
Damn. You know what? There you go. I hope you liked it. Did you? You didn't like it enough. Oh my god, that's a lot of you. Get down, Snake. Nah, he shouldn't. All right, I'll get this done proper, like everything else. There we go. All right, now we'll slide down here. No, we won't because that guy sees something. He didn't see me though, he just saw something. Let me hop in here really quick. Nothing. That is not how you use your book. Lock this down, and this down. Alright. Let's see if this works out. Fuck. Damn it! Well... I didn't see my little books over here. That's okay. What's wrong? Hey! Yo! Homies! Damn you all. Well, I got two What's wrong? Two lovely books. He saw one. He sees it. He wants it. He's thirsty. <laughs> nice. I know. I bought it myself. Shit, that one's coming over still. This guy's really excited with this book. Oh, man. How long can you hang out on that book? That's my biggest concern. He's really enjoying the material. You know what? Here's what I'll do. Go over there! Do you like that? <laughs> nice! Good boy. Stay distracted. Yes! Holy shit! That worked out. It did! That worked out! I didn't die! They didn't see me! I gave two people two lovely pieces of literature! Coming downstairs! I'm hungry! Hey, that's good. Apparently Rotten Bird is tasty still. That's good. Uh, let me put on my... My... This thing. There is stuff. And there is probably more stuff. There's never not stuff. Yep, I was right. Damn right. Bandages and ointments. Go over here. How visible is this? This is just very invisible. Unvisible. Yep. What does that sound? I don't know. I am 
The fury! The flames of my rage will incinerate you. I came back from space. As I returned, I had one vision. The world set ablaze. And do you know what I saw there? Fury! A great and terrible fury at being alive. Now, you're going to feel the scorching heat of that horrible blackness. Okay, this is, um, man with fire. I have a feeling this night vision thing might or might not work out too well. However, I can use it to find some kind of ammo. Wait, actually, I'm good on ammo. No, no I'm not. Now I am. When did that happen? Mm. Alright, Mr. Fury. If that is your real name. I've dealt with your kind Where'd before. You and this is how I dealt with it. I hope you approve, Mr. Fury. Let's see. Not sure which way he'd be coming, but I know he's over there. Hey, buddy. Where you at, son? Hmm. Well. I just see he's over there. Fury? Don't be mad, come on. Huh? Oh, oh god, you found me. Hi! Hello! Your sense of hearing is great with that giant helmet on you. Jesus. Damn it. Alright. Oh, he set those off. Good job, pal. You you blew them up though without you being there, so you made me waste them. You're a jerk. Where the fuck are you? I gotta be patient with this guy. Show yourself. I gotta be very patient with this guy. That's fine. Here, take this off. That could hurt. Hi. I can't seem to get you when you do that, so stop. Uh, sneak around. Maybe CQC works on him. I'm over here. Are you? Actually, camo. That'll do. I'm gonna try on some CQCs. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, that's okay. I tried it. I love barbecue. Okay. Okay. Ow. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Okay. That just works too. Where'd he go? Did you fly away? Did you do your flying away thing? Probably. Hey, dog. I missed. Okay, it works though. It's just I stayed way too long. I ran into my own claymore. God damn it. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Alright. I get the I get the idea of you, Fury. I get it. I understand you. You and I, we get each other. Alright, I can get two shots off and then I gotta go. You know what? I think AP sensor might work better here. That's him right there. There you go. I should have reloaded before I shot, but that's okay. I am low on health, but I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem.
What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I have no idea what he just did. What did you do? Fuck. Where are you?
Okay, there. That's... Could have done better, but fuck it. Boss. This is the end of the Copras. You've got to live on. You're the only one left. I'm off. To join the Sock. Mission Control, do you read me? I'm coming home. I see the Earth. I mean, that could have gone smoother. I almost missed out on that. I was wondering where it was. I want to look at it. Yeah, so, um, you don't know this, but that took about 40 minutes of trying. Yeah. That's how it goes. The Fury's camo uniform. Reduces damage from flames and explosions by half. Huh. Well, that's good. Looking neat, sir. Kinda wish he had a little, uh, helmet on, but... Meh. It works. Alright, Snake. You deserve a good meal. Hey, this works. That it does. If you ignore the flies, it's okay. Let's get out of here, pal. This is it. This is what you've been training for all this time. Probably want to go with this kind of camera. You know what this camera is, buddy? Well, you see, a long time ago, in the future, there was is going to be a game called Metal Gear Solid. 
and I had a camera similar to that, except it couldn't really do this to my knowledge. So it was kind of weird. But, you know, as they say in the Bronx, Snake, I don't really know what they say in the Bronx. I'm not from there. But, hey, not everyone's as culturally prepared to be in the Bronx as everyone else is. So, there's that. Let's take this guy out and not, uh, do anything. Wait. 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 Snake, you almost shot that man in the head. You are a silly person. And that's okay. Because you are not in gym class. You're in theater. In theater? They want... God damn it, Snake. They want you to embrace your inner self. Probably. I've never actually been to theater. I'm sure that's probably what they want. They also probably want you to do some improv shit. And then you return really hard to get the role where you get to kiss the pretty girl on the lips during rehearsal. And then you'll be like, I keep fucking up that same scene every time. So you keep having these excuses of, hey, we should go practice this scene. I keep messing up. And she's like, do we gotta do the kiss part? I'm like, yes, that's like kind of a big deal. It's like, you know, part of the scene. So I need to be immersed. And she's like, you know, the constant, you know, you know that? that that's what she'd be doing, Snake. You foolish, foolish person. Well, as to which way I'm going, I don't know. But as of right now, it doesn't seem so bad. I just kind of wish all of these were under one of them. Just like eight things under one of these box crate things. Save me a lot of trouble. I'm full on bandages? Jesus. I am so cool. I am like up there and shit. I don't know where. Just, I'm just there. Up. I don't need a lot of these things. Probably don't need those either. So I'm not gonna bother with them. Alright, Snake. Let's be smart. Don't do anything silly. Like that. God damn, man. Alright. There we go. Let's take care of. It's a cap over there. Anyone else over here? Hang on, um, this. Nope. You, get out of sight, out of mind. You'll stay on my mind. Right over here. Is there another person? Thought I heard it. I didn't. I'm not hearing shit. Huh. I've heard stories of this. It's supposed to suck. Mm. Oh. There is somebody nearby. Do I want to go in here? I'll do it. Sure. Okay. That wasn't so bad. They really are terrible at guarding their shit. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. Oh. Oh. God damn it. Fine. I can't go in there. Even though it looks just like every other door I can go in. Is there another guy? Or is it just him? This is stupid of me. Oh my god, why am I doing this? Okay, this is really dumb. Fuck this idea. I'm gonna get seen so fast. That doesn't cover me at all. Fuck this plan. Go around another way. This is the worst idea. I can go through there too. Hmm. Let's see here. They even got spotlight people. Nobody. However, you can come check it out if you want. Keep going, keep going. There you go, pal. Huh? There you go, buddy. Answer me. The cell to the east. Yes. Speak. Let go of me. No, what about the cell? Speak. God damn you. 
<sighs> That's fine. You're allowed. You're an enemy. You don't gotta tell me the Jutes. Judes? Try to say juice and news. I don't know where the D came from. What? God, I'm. I am so not good sometimes. Break this. I can't. Really? Usually you can break those things. Huh. Oh well. I really can't go in there? I guess not. Hmm. Okay. Like right there. And that guy shouldn't see him because he's not looking that way. And I can take out this guy because he's not looking that way. Thank you, man, for not looking that way. Alright, so sell to the east. Which way is east? I know I'm in northeast. But that doesn't help me much. Do you mean this thing? I don't really think this counts, but... Um... No! It's not. Right? I mean, I could take this car with me. That'd be good. But I can't. Ah, uh, there's this door here. Maybe that's what he meant. This thing over there. Or this. There's a hole. What? Yeah, I know. Hmm. Come on, pal. Come on, pal. You know what? You're bad at your job. Alright, so is this what you meant? This thing? No? Doesn't look like it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hi. It's not really expecting you to be here. Um. Give me a second. Never mind. I had the book equipped already, apparently. There you go. You like porn? Or smut? Or wasting my fucking used item? So that's what you're doing to me right now. Dick. Yo. Speak. Using the ducks. You can move safely. Oh, yeah. Speak. You lousy. I'm not lousy. I have been trying to fight people calling me that for a long time now. I'm not that bad. I'm just kind of bad. This thing right here. That's got to be openable. Let me in. Open it. What are you? Your food. I'm eating it all. Not too bad. Ugh. I wanna blow it all up, and I'm out of stun grenades. That's okay. Rarely use the things anyway. Mm, everyone's asleep, so I should be able to do this no problem. And there's a downwards area. Gosh. I have a feeling I can't get through here. Can I? No. No, I can't. Alright. Let me go to where I want to go, and then blow that sucker up. Hmm, do I care? I think it's just another way to get through there. Which I can just walk through, because everybody's just kind of snoozing. Yeah, I'd see like this guy, snoozing. Guy behind there, he's probably dead. Alright, right there. And... pop it. Oh, fuck me. Well, at least that's already in progress. Alright, if he's famished. Mm, fuck. Alright. I would totally sit down some food for you, but I don't got really the time. Actually, I do have the time because you don't come all the way here. You're gonna get some food, buddy. As soon as that guy goes, anyway. I know you're hungry. So I'm trying to feed you. She looks so starving. Who's that? God damn it. No one asks. No one gets to ask questions. Nobody. Hate questions. Questions are stupid. You know what my favorite question is? Hey, how's your day? It's a great question. 
No one really cares about the answer. They just ask it. Because they can. I'm famished. Hey. Why are you so famished, pal? Speak. Famished. The door will open with frequency 146.95. What door? Speak. You lousy. Hey. I, I don't need that right now. Like, that's uncalled for. That was... I, I need... I need people to, like, motivate me, and you just put me down. That's... So fucked up. Like, really. How the fuck can you get off? Oh, shit. Oh my god. There we go. Okay, so this thing? This? Oh. Snake, that door can't be opened by normal means. Apparently it operates by responding to a specific radio frequency. If you want to know the key frequency, why don't you try asking someone nearby? You're right. You know, I kind of wish I remembered it. Seven, five? No. Uh, that's the guy! I need him. How am I gonna get him? Here you go, man. Eat your heart out. Yes! Okay. Let's see. Eat it. Thank you. Why am I slowly moving in here? Oh shit! He went into- <gasps> Yes! Okay, alright, alright, here. Wait! Uh-huh. Good. He's in here. It's- Oh, it's occupied! <laughs> That's kinda good, actually. Let me in! I gotta go to the bathroom, man! Come on! Please! Dude! It can't hurt that bad. It's just rotten food. Hornet's nest, even. Hi. Speak. Water. The colonel is weak against water. Really? Speak. The colonel. He has trouble with bright mushrooms. Huh. Thank you for that knowledge, buddy. You're the best. All right, so I need to put you out for a while. You got to just stay down. And I need this getup of yours, cause um. Well, you know the reason, I'm sure. How do I make you drop it, though? We're under attack. What? How? What? Nah, whatever. Give, give, give me your, give me your stuff. Please, I need it. That life is terrible. Um, I guess I'll just wait it out or something. Okay. Good. You're still in there? You're still- your, your Z's are almost done. Stop that. Go back to sleep. Good and proper as you should. Alright, so... How secure is doing this? Probably not very. Mm, fuck. This is all very bad because everything's kind of reset now. You know what? If that guy's in there... Huh? Huh? No? Okay. Well, the guy was in there and the other guy was there too, so... Um... Grand. Grand. I still gotta get that motherfucker's clothes. But he won't take him off. It's fucked up, man. <sighs> Alright. Now. Come on, baby. You 
know what? I could wait outside the door for him. Oh shit. Okay. I'll go. Huh? Go away. Go away. Huh? Yes! I'm in! Fuck yeah! Alright, what's in here? What are you, what, where were you holding this whole time? I had to get like a code for you and everything? Your body's staying there for some reason? I mean, not, not staying there for some reason. The door's still open. Oh! Okay, I think I get it. His radio is set to the frequency. So I don't technically need it as long as they have it. And I have a scorpion. Good. Hmm. Okay. Well. That is one down, I suppose. Uh, let's make sure he's down for a bit longer than he would normally be. Alright, then there was the one guy over here. Sure, if he's in there or not. He's not. Where are you at, son? You're right there. Hmm. You know what? I'll wait for you. Just for you, buddy. Yo. Good night, man. Hmm. Okay, so. We're dealing with two floors of people. Not just one floor, people. This is gonna be a problem, alright. Can I get anyone from this angle? Yes, I can. Hello, man. Good night. Oh boy. This is so, so dangerous. Anyone in here? I don't know. Yes! Stay away from there. Ah, uh, fuck me. Okay, alright. So far so okay, I guess. Anyone else? I don't think so. How about in here? I think we're okay. Yeah. As of right now, we're okay. Ah, uh, man. What am I- This is just not safe. Nothing safe about this. There's lockers. We have one. Uh, I want one of these open so I can go in them in case something bad happens, which is very inevitable. They're all locked. Lockers. This one's special. Can't open that either. Okay, fine. I think that's actually clear. Oh, hello, ma'am. Uh, Shoko Hamada, looking lovely today. I'm not going in there. Uh, I still gotta get that guy's fucking clothes. Put him in the locker. Why the fuck was I supposed to know that? Come on, big guy. Let's go. Took care of all the other problems, so you should be fine. Except your Z's are almost done. Resume the Z's, pal. Let's go. Hopefully you don't overdose on those, cause, um... With the quantity of trank you've taken, I could probably take out a rhino. I'll assume that's a positive thing. That motherfucker had a thong. All right. No idea how I was supposed to know to bring him up here, but whatever. I'll assume I have his clothes, and I'm going to be riding for this because he was pretty much the riding as well, so perfect. I look the part. I'm set for this shit. Yeah. So if I go over here and punch ev Oh, people are awake now. All right, we'll see if this worked. Hello, I am working here. 
You are all f oh my god, there's a lot of you in here. Thank god I didn't go in there. I would have been so boned. Can I go in here? <laughs> I can <laughs> I do a little salute. Alright, let me make sure there's nothing fancy in here that I want. But as of right now it doesn't look like much. Just a bunch of people doing people things. Oh! Oh! You! Thermal? <gasps> Dude! You know how much I fucking wanted one of these for so long? God damn! The answer's a long time. Salute! Don't be afraid! I saluted you! Jeez! He fears respect and honor. I don't fear you, ma'am. Not at all. Alright, so that means I should be just free to walk around no problem, I guess. Those people in there just doing people things as well. People things is apparently my phrase of the day. That's a two-timer in two minutes. Hello! Uh, gentlemen? Sir! Don't mind my walk. You can count on me. What about the Philosopher's Legacy? I don't know anything about that. What are you... Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? <gasps> I know nothing, I swear it. <gasps> no one but the Colonel knows of the Legacy. I see. No, don't! Oh! Who's there? You're the man from the CIA. What are you doing here? I told you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> A man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me, the Shagahods. <laughs> exactly. The final preparations for Phase 2 are complete. Sokolov, what exactly is Phase 2? To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium-range ballistic missiles. I don't know what that means. The Shagahod was originally designed as a tank that could launch nuclear missiles from any type of terrain. There was just one problem we couldn't figure out how to solve. The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohod to carry. But the military would not hear of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. That is when I came up with the idea for Phase 2. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagohod. So how'd you do it? By accelerating the Shagohod itself. Accelerating it? In phase two, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohod. The unit incorporates the same technology used in the Vostok rocket that sent Major Gagarin into space. Using this booster, 
the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. That monster can go more than 300 miles per hour? Yes. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. Yes, precisely. The range of the missile launched by the Shagohod thus increases from 2,500 miles to 6,000 miles. 6,000 miles? That's enough to strike anywhere in the United States. Not only that, with the Shagohod, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. It's a mobile fortress, capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. A weapon from hell. Okay, I understand now. A completed prototype now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. But Volkin is planning to mass produce them based on that prototype. And deploy them all over the Soviet Union. Yes, and that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohad as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. His funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a Cold War is because each side fears the other's power. Deterrence. The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. But the Shagohard goes far beyond the level of threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If such a weapon is unleashed on the world, it will not be long before all nations are engulfed in conflict. The Cold War will end, and the entire planet will be consumed by the fires of war. Vulcan and the Shagohod will be at the center of it all. So you see, it's already too late. No, it's not too late. What do you mean? We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. But just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. <laughs> all right. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow... Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. C3? You mean that cutting-edge plastic explosive? It could be molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. Where can I get it? There was some in the armory here, but it's gone now. It was stolen by a female spy who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Volkin's lover. I thought she was your lover. Mine? Oh no, she is Volkin's lover. This is my lover. Who are they? My wife and daughter. They're in America. Now I remember. Your family is in the custody of the CIA. How long has Tatiana been here? Only a few weeks. A few days before the virtuous mission, then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. <sighs> no, I'm not going. My mission is to rescue you. Leave me, Sokolov! Khrushchev has abandoned me. 
I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the Gulags. What about the U.S.? Yes, I once thought of that. My family's waiting for me there, but even if I fled to the United States, I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. In the end, it doesn't matter where I go. I am still a weapons scientist. To be honest with you, I'm tired. Every day, I help create things that should never be used. Things that should never have existed in the first place. Every day, without sleep. Without a word of praise from others. And my creations do not even benefit mankind. They are merely the tools of politicians. All I wanted to do was build space rockets. But it was not to be. The space race between America and Russia became the prey of politicians. The space race and the arms race are one and the same. Missiles, rockets, what's the difference? Scientists are always being used. Please, watch over my family. Major, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you in my room. What? <laughs> Who are you? Don't play dumb with me. If you think you can fool me, you're sorely mistaken. I know the Major better than anyone else. I come here looking for Tatiana, and what should I find? But a greasy freebooter. Oh. disguise. It's gonna rub off on you. And then you'll lose sight of who you really are. Stay out of this! See why they call you the boss. What was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form of close quarters combat. He and I developed it together. Splendid. I'll take it from here. Are you going to kill him? <sighs> of course. But first. I will make him pay for hurting Ivan.
fuck out. Sure. Also, I'm going to remember the number that I saw. It said 144.75. And that looked like a Kodak number. Because I've dealt with Kodak numbers before. And that's probably going to be important later. Or an Easter egg. Who the fuck knows? Snake, have you seen Dr. Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb? What? Dr. Strangelove. Have you seen it? Uh, no. It's about this insane American Air Force commander who sends a bomber out to drop an H-bomb on Russia. It's a black comedy. Doesn't sound very funny to me. The actor who plays Dr. Strangelove also plays two of the other main characters. It's actually kind of funny once you get past the scary parts. It just came out this year, so I bet you could still go and see it. Maybe when I'm in a lighter state of mind, I'll give it a try. <laughs>